Today, I want to explain why gut infections keep coming back and really why just killing bad bacteria with antimicrobials and antifungals, why that's not the answer. And instead, what you need to focus in on, which is healing your gut and healing through the terrain. Okay, so let's start with the common thinking that drives most gut protocols, right? You've got this overgrowth. And so let's blast it, let's nuke it with the antimicrobials, the antifungals, or the antibiotics. And it's true, for some people, this can bring some temporary relief, right? Symptoms go down, bloating reduces, uh, and it feels like the problem is solved. But within weeks or even months, these symptoms come back, right? They've returned. Why? Well, because the gut is not just a battlefield. It's an ecosystem. It's a rainforest. It's a complex and delicate microbiome that really needs balance not just eradication. And most gut protocols completely ignore this reality. They focus on destruction, not restoration. And without restoring this ecosystem, those infections, well, guess what? They keep coming back. So instead of asking, how do I kill the bad bacteria? You really need to be asking, what made my gut a place where these bad bacteria could thrive in the first place, right? Because a healthy, diverse microbiome doesn't get hijacked, it's not taken as a hostage, right? You see pathogens like Candida and Klebsiella and Pseudomonas and H. pylori, they don't just appear out of nowhere, right? They, they take root in a gut that's already weakened, imbalanced or inflamed. And so the question that we need to ask ourselves is what's weakening your gut? And that's where we need to shift our attention. So one of the most overlooked pieces of gut health is secretory IgA, also known as CA. And that's because this is your gut's first line of immune defense uh, in your intestinal mucosal lining. 